myself ashok assistant professor computer science department from rohini college of engineering and technology in this video we are going to see about mist cloud architecture there are three main objectives in mist cloud architecture first objective is to illustrate and understand the various cloud services in the context of an overall cloud computing conceptual model second objective is to provide a technical reference to usg agencies and other consumers to understand discuss categorize and compare cloud services third objective is to facilitate the analysis of candidate standards for security interoperability and portability and reference implementations more economic method of providing higher quality and faster service at lower cost to the users that is the uh, main purpose of nist cloud architecture reliability in the delivery of products and process so it defines a set of actors activities and functions that can be used in the process of developing cloud computing architectures focus on the requirements of what cloud services provide not a how how to design solutions and implementations tool for describing discussing and developing a system specific architecture using a common framework of reference see the conceptual reference model in the image so already we have seen so many actors are available in this cloud architecture so here the actors are cloud provider cloud consumer cloud auditor cloud broker cloud carrier five major actors are available in a cloud architecture one is cloud consumer second one is cloud provider third one is cloud carrier fourth one is cloud auditor and fifth one is cloud broker so each actor is an entity that are the uh, participants in a transaction or process and performs tasks in cloud computing so interaction between the actors in cloud computing you can see the interactions between the actors in cloud computing next see about consumers principal stakeholder consumer is the principal stakeholder for, for the cloud computing service consumers they maintains a business relationship with the users and service from a cloud provider they they browses the service catalog from the cloud provider request the appropriate service set up service contracts with the cloud provider and use the service also arrange payments the consumer arrange payments to the service provider service level agreement to specify the technical performance requirements quality of service security remains for performance failures cloud provider may also list in the service level agreement so they list all these things quality security then the performance performance failures limitations and applications the example services available to the cloud consumers business crm sales billing etc etc next cloud provider a person a organization an organization it is the entity uh, responsible for making a service available to 
interested parties accurates and manages the computing infrastructure required for providing the services runs the provider runs the cloud software that provides the services or delivery deliver through internet service deployment service orchestration cloud service management security and privacy they provides deployment orchestration management security and privacy now you can see cloud provider Pro, uh, cloud providers activities the next actor is cloud auditor cloud auditor is a party that can perform an independent examination of cloud service controls with the intent to express an opinion there a cloud auditor can evaluate the service provider by the service cloud provider in terms of security controls privacy impact performance etc so you see the scenario for cloud auditors they interact with the customer and provider with next audit uh, next actor is cloud broker a cloud broker is an entity that manages the use performance and delivery of cloud services and negotiations negotiates a relationship between cloud provider and cloud consumers service intermediation providing some specific capability and providing value added services managing access to cloud services identity management performance reporting enhanced security etc so you see scenario for cloud brokers cloud brokers interact with the consumers and providers multiple providers cloud carrier a cloud carrier act as an uh, intermediary that provides connectivity and trans uh, transport and of cloud services between cloud consumers and cloud providers cloud carriers provides access to consumers through network telecommunication and other access divider divides devices cloud carrier to provide dedicated and secure connections between cloud consumers and cloud provider providers and service level agreements now you can see the usage scenario of cloud carriers thank you